I just lay down when she do me. She work her legs up with jacuzzi. Dirty clips, but I don't show movies. I let my bitch on my tubi. Since she love me, she scared she gon' lose me. Going up, bitch, I feel like I'm moving. No, I never been a goofy. All right, this video is gonna be on like how to know what PD rays is gonna hold and what to look for in the PD array. Like this is where a lot of fa uh, traders fail. You guys are looking for market maker buying some models out of areas that just don't matter i promise you but um before i get into that i want to announce there's there's a free discord in the description okay so you guys can join my free discord right here i'm gonna show you guys so this right here very good very active chat in here so you guys can all join this one and that'd be perfectly fine this was the initial one that i had made but this is my um private I, I like my private because i can really just i don't like dealing with large crowds you guys can tell but this is my private i have my regular youtube channel i have my unreleased i can't open it because you're going to see the links but i have a, the videos i don't release publicly you know but i can open this one this is my back testing software that i use and it's really good because it's real time data. Like you could, I'll show you. Like you could see the one minute chart just move tick by tick, pip by pip, point by point. You you can see it move throughout all time frames. And also you can um fast forward, you can execute with your stop and really back test the things I'm telling you because I put this in my private so they can do these drills and exercises I have them do so they can practice the things I'm showing and see that they work and this is just sort of what we use sometimes we'll just do like silver bullets and shit but beyond that yeah my back testing software we have some 10k accounts I can't open this because you guys are going to see a link and you guys probably want to know what my setup looks like so this is what I'm working on now you guys are right here on this monitor. Um, my Discord's always on my vertical monitor. And that my magic keys is right there. I don't think it's there. Nah. But my magic keys is usually on this little phone holder. For the people who ask me what my setup looks like, we'll be on that. Yeah, I have two servers. It's in the description for the one you guys can join. I'm active in that one, but I'm mostly active in my private. I don't like really dealing with large groups of people, as you guys know. But yeah, um... I don't know what PD rate will hold, and this is where a lot of traders fail. I swear, you looking for market maker buying some models in the wrong area. So let me get into this. This is what these other YouTube guys are not going to teach you. They don't know it. I'm watching the way they teach. But you have sell side here, right? And I want you to see something. You notice how every up close candle after price traded beneath it held. It sounds cliche. You guys see me talk about this multiple times, but I'm going to show you what to do because I didn't show you what to do before, but now I'm going to show you what to do. Price stayed beneath it, okay? Until we took sell side. But here's the thing. When you have your premium and discount array, so like if price were to trade beneath this up close candle, these two, this would be a range that you're working within. So you have your premium to discount but what you have to understand is this your fair value gap here is your first interest that should hold it should not come back up to your two up close candles you see the bodies yeah they they stuck in this fair value gap okay again here and there it came up to the two up close It wanted this fair value gap. And I'm going to show you guys what to do in here and how to um, trust what I'm telling you. Again, volume imbalance. Order block trades beneath this. Why doesn't it come back up to here? Or even this low? Because it wants this fair value gap here. Okay. We take sell side here. And order flow is, is bearish. Now, this is what you do with these levels. You never know if it's going to pull for this order block or 
you don't know if it's going to pull for the fair value cap. You don't know if it's going to respect the 50. You don't know these things, okay? You don't know what it's going to do, but you can anticipate levels you want to monitor. So as prices trade into this low, and maybe you're unsure, or any low or any high, doesn't matter. Highs, down close, down close, down close, down close. We got above these highs. So if price is trading for this low and you're kind of unsure, what you can do is you understand your Peter Ray matrix, which is ICT's one to four. You drop down into a lower time frame and you want to monitor what price has been doing in these key levels. You never know if they're going to hold or not, but you'll know as you get confirmation off these key levels. And this is what a lot of people do not do. So again, You have equal lows down here. Okay. They're very equal. You have equal highs here. Price took it. Shifted right off of this level. Your shift. Pulled back in for the breaker. In a, B, in a BPR. Okay. You short this. You can cover these highs and you can let it run for your draw. And it doesn't matter. Oh, you're on the weekly drop into your four hour. I don't trade those. Me neither, bro. It's the concepts that matter. If you're not understanding what I'm trying to teach is high time frame PD array, lower time frame execution. You're you're lost right now. You're you're in the wrong YouTube because I'm showing you what to do. Don't worry about the time frames. Worry about what I'm showing you, which is high time frame PD array, which is this. Okay. High time frame PD array, which is this. Buy side shift pulls right back up for this for value gap. Okay, that's what I'm showing you. You this is when you look for your SMT at these highs. We're going to check the X. Look, SMT. People look for SMT at the most stupidest places. I'm telling you, they're like, oh, we took sell side. We could probably come for these highs. Oh, we took sell side again. We're probably going to go for these. Like, you guys do not know what the hell you're looking at, and it's obvious. Very obvious, bro. So obvious that you guys just look for SMT anywhere. You look for market maker, buy some miles anywhere. You're not even using key levels or having price anticipation, which is why it's failing. But beyond that, so yeah, and, which, and what's cool, what you can do with this is instead of just selling this, like how I said, you could just mark out your key level here and do the same thing. Drop down to a lower time frame and just see if there's any market structure shifts in this key level. Because at the end of the day, there's no difference between this weekly PD array and me marking out this four hour PD array and monitoring how price acted in here and it's very obvious you can just see it already took the high this is the shift pulls right back up past OTE the rejection block and then it runs okay again another weekly PD array and mind you our draw is the sell side down here and we don't know if it's going to hold, but as we're watching order flow on these PD arrays, you're looking at what to do with them. Take the high, SMT, shift. The only fair value gap you have, you sell that. If you don't feel comfortable, high was taken here, shift, fair value gap. Okay. Again, an order block. Extend it out. What do we do? Run the highs. We shift. Breaker. Fair value gap. This is your entry. That's why it held. That's why price held. It tapped it once, two, three, four, five, and then it ran. And here's the thing. One thing, too, about... um. For value gaps is you can expect price to tap this thing multiple times because every time they're running into this for value gap, they're 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 hammering shorts. So as it's running into here, it's hammering shorts. 
shorts, 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 and then it runs. It's okay to see this happen in a fair value gap. As long as you're seeing price stay beneath the 50 with bodies, that, that that's more comfortable. It can go and close above, but like it's more comfortable if it stays here in this lower end with the bodies. But the context is all there. The reason why these shifts are so important is not because they're random levels. It's happening off levels we're anticipating bearishness, right? So obviously I have to take you back up to the weekly chart because you guys are just lost right now. I can tell. So if you're understanding, this is a bearish PD array. If you're understanding this is a bearish PD array, if you just understand, okay, this is bearish, this is bearish, they're, they're bearish PD rays. Now, how do you know if they're going to hold? You simply drop down to a lower time frame and wait for a willingness to, to trade off that level with ICT's PD rays. You just want to see if it's giving you a willingness. You don't know. But once it gives you that willingness, that's all you need to see off of that level. It's not just, oh, we we took sell side, we shifted, why didn't this work? You do not know what you're looking at. Sell side, shift, yes. But what, what are we playing off of? I know you guys are thinking, well, this low look, we took sell side. You're, you're, you're trying, like, if you can make the candles say anything you want, if you force it to. You can make it say anything you want. We took sell side. We shifted. Why didn't this work? You guys are ignoring the higher time frame PD raise. The higher time frame PD raise is this. And this was your shift. Right here. We took these this high here. Shifted. Okay. Breaker. Rejection block. Okay, OTE. Order block. There's a lot of entries you guys have. So no matter where you entered from, whether it was the order block, 11R, the breaker, 4R, OTE, about 8R. The point is this. If you guys mark the higher time frame PD array, and you drop down to your lower time frame and then you journal this okay like what i mean by journal i'm saying I, i'm gonna show you this is what i do and i know that's why every trade i take is going to be a four to five r minimum look you shift you're drawing liquidity in your entry model and i usually annotate this like this i do that and put entry like that. And I journal this and how I'd put more lipstick on is I'd say like higher time frame PD A ray like this. And this is the lower time frame, what we're doing in here. And then I train myself to see what I'm looking for. And you'll always see this occur, which is your market maker sell model. Okay. Or your 2022 model, which would be here. That's your 2022. This is your market maker sell model. How do you want to look at it? I see you teaching the same thing. Um. What else? Do we have any more PD rays? No, we don't. So it's just like, if you want to know the draw on liquidity and if we're going to trade to this low, or if you want to know if a PD ray is going to hold, you simply have to use the higher time frame and drop down to your lower. And what else I'm going to say is, I'm not going to dive specifically into what time frames you want to do, but I'm telling you, there is a gap difference between the time frames that you should be on. I'm not saying, oh, four hour drop down to your five minute. I'm not saying that. I'm saying like, long story short, if you have a higher time frame PD rate, you do have to have a certain amount of space between your higher time frame PD rate and your lower time frame execution. Because if you're on like a, I'm not going to give specifics because this is for private, but 
If you're going to use a higher time frame PD rate, just make sure the gap difference between the higher time frame and the lower time frame execution is 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 pretty spaced out because if not, you're going to not see these shifts. You're not going to know how to journal. You're not going to know how to take these trades. And you're not going to know what you're looking for because the time frames, they might seem a little bit far apart, but they're relatively close. And you're not going to see the shifts that you need to see. The moral of the story is this. If this is your high time frame PD rate and price is running into this level, if you're on like a relatively higher time frame, you're not going to see the shift. You're just going to see it go, come, and then just go. Like You're not going to see like, oh, why didn't it come back? It's because you're not on the correct time frame due to the higher time frame PD rate you selected. You have to have um, a certain amount of space between the two. And this is what I was running over with my Discord yesterday. You have to have a certain amount of space between your higher time frame PD rate and your lower time frame execution. So that's another thing. What else? There's a lot of things I have to get off my chest. Um, what else did I cover? Yeah, that's, that's, I guess that's really it. Um, my Discord is free. The other one, my private is not. But my private has like free 10K accounts in there for people. Um, what else? Back testing software. We're live. I didn't mention this, but we're live every day. Like we're live trading every day, and we're live every day, and we're live studying every day. Mind you, you guys forget I'm still a student, right? But I'm better than the other ones. But I'm still a student at the end of the day, and I'm always gonna be a student. But what you guys have to understand is like, I'm like I'm literally still a student, but I'm a good one because I understand what the hell ICT is trying to teach. And mind you. I'm not even going into the power of threes with the with the candles. Like I use the hourly power of three and the fifteen minute power of three. Okay, there's a lot of little things I do that just I know what ICD is trying to teach, bro. I really do, and it's not a it's not a secret, not a secret at all. It's just he's literally teach. Like he honestly, as I'm going through ICT stuff, I'm realizing that like people probably think this is not good teaching, but he's actually doing the best way of teaching ever. It's like. I'm spoon feeding you guys right now with these concepts. I'm literally picking the food up and putting it in your mouth. Like I'm I'm literally spoon feeding you guys what he's showing you. But the way he's teaching is it's very unique because he's showing you whatever jumps out to you for one and he's showing you how to learn at your own pace and learn at your own yeah, learn at your own pace. He's really showing you how to learn at your own pace. Like that's that's why he's so good because as I was studying him in the beginning, I'm like, why the fuck is he teaching like this? Why is everything actually leading to the same thing? Accumulation, manipulation, distribution. That's like the power of three. I'm gonna show you guys something. Talk is cheap. I always say it. Let me go to the daily. Oh, let's go to Geo. I'm gonna show you guys something. You see how this is um accumulation here? Manipulation. Distribution. That's power of three. Accumulation, manipulation, distribution, okay? But more importantly, it's the market maker buy model. Okay, so these are the equal highs. I have proof that we were taking these trades. It's not just talk. I can show you. I can really whip my Discord over here and show you that I did this before it happened. When price was down here, and then it shifted, we were in here buying. We knew these levels were going to hold until we get above this high. I can show you. I'm not. You'll see. It's the free Discord. You go in there. You go to the daily section or the weekly, and you scroll. You'll see exactly this before price is even up there. But you have your accumulation manipulation distribution but you also have your market maker buy model and on top of that you also have your 2022 model right here okay sell side buy side entry 2022 model okay accumulation manipulation distribution power of three market maker buy model exactly like that so if i take this and move it market maker buy 
2022 mentorship power of three he's teaching you all the same things but it's like it's different things to the system you know it's what i mean what i mean by that i'm saying like it's different it's kind of like if you're working on an engine there's many different parts to the engine that you kind of uniquely have to understand individually and then it makes up of the whole engine so like you'll have like um maybe this part this part like it's he's showing you a big ass system that's going on and it's not just a market maker buy it's not just that accumulation manipulation distribution it's not just the 2022 model it's not just the the breaker the volume imbalance the order block it's not just these these are he's showing you like individual pieces like this this is individual piece this is your pd ray order block propulsion order block reclaimed order block these are individual pieces to the puzzle which is pd ray matrix the breaker okay then he has his 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 concepts power of three accumulation manipulation distribution which is another piece to the system then he has his market maker buy then he has his low resistance liquidity runs then he like he, it's a bunch of individual things you have to learn that he's teaching and everyone asks where do I start? Do I need this? Do I need that? If you're skipping over any, not not any video, but any concept of his, like all his months, all his stuff on YouTube in private, I have his private stuff too. But if you're skipping over these things, you, you have to understand you're missing a piece to the puzzle that you don't need there, but you're missing a piece to the puzzle that's never going to be connected if you do that. And it's hard because you're going to have to watch the videos more than once. Okay. So... The reason why I got the name Market Maker Turbo was because obviously everyone in real life calls me Turbo. Everyone, my mom, my friends, sister, everyone calls me Turbo, okay? But the Market Maker series was what made everything click for me. It made everything click. I was like, wait a minute. I said, power of three. That's how each individual candle forms, huh? And I understood it. And then that I was like, yeah, Market Maker Turbo. But I watched it like... I'm on like my eighth time watching a whole series ever, eighth time, like everything, not just one video. And every time I learn something. And like, here's the thing. In the power of three, where you have your accumulation, manipulation, distribution, when you where you have that, he, in this small concept, he has this, your Judas swing, the run low enticing traders to short. Okay, that's his Judas swing. So you have many different concepts. You're sitting here saying, "Oh, I'm trading the, the power of three accumulation." Like you, you're 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 not understanding what the hell he's trying to teach. It's the bigger picture, but you're so focused on this itty bitty thing. Oh, I only trade the 2022 model. Like, you just sound stupid. I only trade the 2022. It doesn't make any sense. It's it's a big ass system that you're failing to realize that he's showing you. It's okay. My private understands. But beyond that, the reason why this was so significant, and I'm going to tell you why. The reason why this was more significant is because the, 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 the seasonal tendencies for this was bullish. So from May to the end of April was bullish. And then this was the quarterly shift. So we took sell side of the last quarter and we shifted. But that's his power of three. Okay. That's his market maker buying sell model. That's 2022 model. So we knew that we knew it was going up there before it happened. And yeah, that's like, I don't even know. This could be a separate video, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that. You guys are going to get blessed and I'm going to keep dropping bangers on this channel. But beyond that, um, what else? Hmm. That That's really it, bro. Just free discord in the bio. It's not my private. Don't confuse the two. I'm only live trading in my private. We're only doing the real drills and exercises we need to do in our private. If you have questions, just message me on Instagram. It's in there. Everything's there. But yeah, you guys be safe. Always keep your head up, man, on what you gon' do. Take a look up in my eyes, baby, then I want you. She gon' hit the cut soon as I walk through. And I ain't trim by no nigga, baby, what they gon' do. She
She gon' let me in the hit her with a one-two I can tell by how you grillin' and the way I come through